Welcome to Dane Least Adventures. In this adventure, I've got Frank Vandenham, <laughs> the best machinist you'll ever meet. And you got Jess in the back here. We're all crammed in the uh, Ford Ranger. <laughs> Jess, uh, where, where are we heading to? Uh, Cassidy area. Cassidy. Hopefully see some good sights along the way. So stay tuned. First things first, we gotta get some Timmy's. All right, we just spotted an elk mixed in with a bunch of cows, so we're gonna try and get this on film. There he is! Hey, 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 look at that, king of the forest, beautiful, that is absolutely outstanding, well, we're here in Nanaimo, BC, trying to find an abandoned racetrack, which should be up there somewhere, and, uh, I don't know, we'll check it out and see what we can see and see what there is. I know which way we're going. Turn off the hill and into the pond right there. Good track. That looks healthy, don't it? Yeah, it's just over these last couple of trees. Yeah, this is it. Well, we made it to the old racetrack, but it seems like it's completely overgrown. It's pretty much just a field at this point. Yep, remnants of an old racetrack. A tire buried under the dirt. But as you can see, this was definitely a track at one point. You know, it'd probably still be good for like dirt bikes and oh, yeah. off-road vehicles. Yeah. I don't know about horses, but maybe. Yeah. Quads. Quads. Yeah. And you know, it could very, very easily be turned into a racetrack again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if this is a dirt track or a cement track. Oh no, we've been caught. Hello. I still don't want to get bit by this. All right, we're here waiting for the Protection Island ferry to go to visit Protection Island. Never been there before, so we'll see what there is to see. Thank you. No, I do not. <laughs> Alright, Jess, we did it. We're on a boat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Can I uh, have your attention for a couple minutes here? I have a Transport Canada mandatory safety announcement. We got life jackets above our heads as well as in the back compartment up front. Children's life jackets are in this middle bench seat there. Take it, put the hole over your head, chest strap first, body strap after. For the donning instructions, I need to side of the console. After the console, there are two life rings and two throw bags. We can show you how to use those if need be. Seeing the firefighting equipment on the right hand side here. There are two official emergency exits across from where I'm standing. Please stay on the boat. Uh, it takes 10 to 12 minutes to get to Protection Island and the ferry leaves on the hour every hour until 10 p.m. If the ferry's not there on the scheduled times, we're doing a double run, shuttling back and forth. So we'll be back to you as soon as we can. I believe that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> that's safe for the firefighters. Yeah. Yeah. 
Pretty safe. <laughs> Real qualified marine firefighters. It's coming in on Wednesday, but you will not be ferried by that. Yeah, I'm gonna push, you push my phone over, you're gonna get it back. <laughs> Primer in? Oh, it is. We made it off the boat. Here we are on Protection Island. Pirates Park. There's pirates here. Oh, there it is now. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> How much does it cost to pierce the pirate's ear? Oh, about a buccaneer. <laughs> where do you find a pirate that lost his two peg legs? Where? Right where y'all left them. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have it after that. <laughs> you won't have it after that. Oh, oh, there be me loot. Right below the baby palm tree, like the map said. <laughs> oh, the wee scallywags, they took me loot. Arr, but it be not a total loss. <laughs> there be five colorful teapots. Arr, there be even more teapots. Arr, there you be, Sheila, my ex girlfriend. Arr, this be the skull of a grey that died off you cool it one day. Now would you have bet that a dragger man's net might have snagged it for this here display. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, there be my first mate. Where have you been, yo wee scallywag? There be me ship. <laughs> Arr, somebody be leaving their loot. <laughs> Big guy here. Oh, fresh out of the West Indies. Arr, I be a pirate. Arr, we better be careful. We're in Buccaneers territory. Arr, I'll take it, but I'm not be paying full price. Now, what be that contraption of metal and steel? The protection island shaft. This mural commemorates the coal mining that took place at this site for almost 50 years, starting in 1892. Capped now by this concrete block, the protection island shaft was driven down 750 feet to intercept the Douglas and the Newcastle coal seams. The shaft allowed access for 200 or more miners a day, the removal of coal for use on site for shipment abroad, and for the downcast of fresh air. The extensive working stretched under the water, south to the Nanaimo shafts, north to the Newcastle Island shaft, and east, far under Northumberland Channel. In 1913, the nearby explosion of the SS Oscar ravaged the top works. In 1918, the hoist rope broke and 16 miners plunged to their death. However, the mine survived as a mainstay of the local economy until closing in 1938. In celebration at the end of World War II, the 85-foot-high pit head, shown so vividly in this mural, was burned in the surrounding area of laid waste. A walk on the nearby beaches will reveal coal, iron fittings, chimney bricks, sailing ship ballast rocks, Chinese pottery, and other traces of wealth, hard work, and tears that tell the story of this industry. There be iron on the beach. What kind of sorcery is happening on this island? There be no skateboarding on the field. There be Pirate Beach. There be me cannon. All primed and ready to go.
There be the new fast ferry. Thank you for watching another Dame Leask adventure, and I'll be happy to bring you another adventure real soon.